Also new tonight, we've learned a 20 person medical team from the U.S. Navy will be deployed to IU Health Methodist Hospital to support health care workers dealing with a surge in patients. The team was requested by FEMA. Earlier this month, IU Health asked for National Guard assistance for almost all of its hospitals. WRTV's Cornelius Hocker checked in with an IU Health doctor working on the front lines who throughout the pandemic has been vocal about his experience. Tonight, he's sharing what health care workers are dealing with right now and what might be ahead. If everyone were vaccinated, you and I wouldn't be talking because my hospital would be normal. Dr. Gabriel Boslett, an IU Health pulmonary and critical care doc, is not mincing words about the Omicron variant and the trouble it could bring. And so even if Omicron leads to less hospitalizations, we are starting at a place where we have no slack in the system. And that's a huge problem. Data shows Omicron is more infectious than other strains, and it's already making up a majority of new COVID cases in the United States, according to the CDC. What's the best case scenario that happens whenever it spikes? and the worst case scenario whenever it spikes in your opinion. Best case scenario is with Omicron coming is that cases go high, but hospitalizations remain flat. That's fine, we can handle that. Worst case scenario is Omicron comes and cases go sky high and people continue coming to the hospital that have COVID that need hospitalization and we have no place to put them. Dr. Boslett has chronicled the ups and downs of the pandemic on social media, providing the latest information on COVID-19, along with letting people know those in the medical field are exhausted. But at this point, exhaustion is coming from more than just the physical aspect of taking care of patients. Empathy fatigue that we have when We've been screaming for almost a year now for people to be vaccinated. And inevitably, when patients come into the intensive care unit, they're unvaccinated. No matter what happens with Omicron in our state, Dr. Boslett tells me he and his colleagues will continue to work as hard as they can, pleading with people to do all they can to help end this pandemic. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV.